Good morning, YouTube. I just want to go over a few things I've been working on. Uh, this is my latest project. I'm working on uh, the size of the LEDs is 0805, the fast change LEDs. They have about seven colors that they change automatically without programming. But I program them to come on at certain times. And I'll start the program now so that you can see what I'm talking about. I'm going to turn each LED on so it looks like there's color sweeping. And it stays on for about four seconds and then it shuts off. And that comes the other direction. So it looks like it's sweeping different colors. Most LEDs are just one color like the standard stuff. These are edge of the, of the uh, prototype board, which is a pretty cool way to mount the LEDs. Uh, these are, this is a mock-up so I can practice different patterns and then reprogram the chip for, for other things I'm working on to see how they look uh, real, real, real life. So, I don't know if you use a lot of the uh, Atmega 328, I believe they are. Uh, uh, Adafruit has some stickers that you can put on top of the, L uh, the ICs that will allow you to know which pins are what. And then, uh, this is one of the boards I use. I make a lot of hats uh, and uh, cap and gown stuff. And so I make pretty small boards. I use surface mount resistors. They're not easy to see. But... It makes the package very small. Uh, then I can put the individual wires from the LEDs to this board and uh, put uh, power to them. So now these are the cables up here that I buy uh, about less than 50 cents a piece on eBay. I get about 20 to 60 at a time. I cut them off their um, iPhone uh, lightning charger cables. Uh, they're really cheap. They're great uh, to use to power your Arduino projects to make them portable. And then these uh, cell phone chargers, you can get these for about two bucks on eBay. Um, sometimes the boards in them don't work great, but you can buy extra boards for about a buck. And so something for three bucks to, to charge, it's uh, 2,400 milliamp hours. So I have a lot of different LED colors. I'm, these, this is a slow LED, uh, LED where it changes on its own, not through programming. Um, and so uh, th these also, these little uh, Pro Mini boards, they are very inexpensive. They're easy to work with. You can put them on a prototype board, uh, low power. Now, one thing I like to do when I have a project like this, I, like I did on this one, I burned... I took a solder iron and burned the LED until it stopped working. I don't want that distraction there. I'm working, starting to work on some projects with uh, RBG, RGB uh, LEDs. So it, it, this is kind of a blending program I have. I'm thinking about adding some RGB R, or whatever you call them uh, LEDs to some of my projects, my hats. Uh, I'm going to show you one, one of my main hats that I do. I have a lot of LED stuff I'm, I'm doing, some pretty cool patterns, a lot of different, a lot of different things, cap and gown, um, I'll show you my latest cap and gown I did, I just finished it yesterday. So cap and gown is a very temporary thing, so I'm not going to worry about covering stuff up. It's got an on off switch, it's got a cell phone charger, and it's got the board, and it's got wiring. So then the on off switch, I turn it on, and this cool colors are green and blue. Pretty cool. Kid, kid will love it. Did this one for free. So, I also use surface mount resistors. Also, I, I uh, am experimenting some with uh, blending RB, RGB LEDs. And this is three pins coming off of the nano board. And I just swap which leads on each of these LEDs. See, these two are, are the same color, but most of the time they're a little different. And so I'm running three pins plus ground on a common cathode uh, uh, RBG, RGB. Um, and so I'm working on a lot of different things, trying to incorporate uh, LEDs are kind of my thing, but I've, I've done a lot of other projects. But if you need any help, but there's some new stuff out here that's pretty cool that you can use in your hats and, or whatever you want, your projects that have more colors. So each, here, each LED is one color. You, you can't really change the color. You can get a two color LED with, it has three pins, uh, three leads on it. 
but these if you do the timing right like reset the program it looks like you're sweeping multiple colors through it. it's a really cool effect and so that's a four second and then it goes the other direction so I'm just this is the first day I've tried this this is a kind of a mock-up I can reprogram it I have a programming board for that and so I can program it when it's on the board uh, so I don't have to worry about uh, I just don't use those uh, holes, those pins on that board so that I can make sure I can continue to program. Again, I'm using these, these charging cables that are super cheap, so they're used everywhere. And I just connect them in a hot glue so that, so that nothing breaks free, so that, they, so that they last for a while. They're not great looking that way, but right now I'm just trying to learn. So that's some of the stuff I'm working on. Also, there's some good wire out there on eBay. That's about it. These are the... Uh, ICs that go on the Uno, the Arduino Uno, and you pop them off and you use them in a project and then you replace them with a new one. And uh, it's an easy way. All you got to do is add a couple caps and a crystal and it's ready to go, guys. Good luck. I'll see you out there. This is Next Bass Guide on YouTube saying.